Okay guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about beam and truss. Okay, so in this video, you will get a basic idea about the origin of truss from a beam, right? So before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon, right? So let's start. So at the very first, to discuss all the things, I will consider a simple supported beam where an external load has been applied okay and due to this external load what will happen if you consider any particular section of course there you will get some shear force and bending moment right so if you plot this shear force in each and every section for this beam you will get a distribution like this which is known as shear force diagram okay and also similarly if you consider the bending moment in each and every section of this beam and plot them accordingly you will get a diagram that is known as bending moment diagram okay i am not going into the detail about how to draw this shear force diagram and bending moment diagram i am assuming that you are well aware about this one right so now take the discussion furthermore okay so you have some simply supported beam with external load and you have calculated the bending moment diagram as well as the shear force diagram right now let's say you are using some wide flange section or i section as your beam member okay so in that i section or wide flange section if you consider this shear force how it is going to be distributed throughout this section well this is going to be distributed like this one and here you can see that majority of this stress due to the shear force is being carried by this web part this is the web okay okay so this is all about the shear force now what about the bending moment if you consider any section of this beam there you will get some amount of bending moment how this bending moment is going to be carried by this wide flange section or i section well very simple the stress distribution is going to be looked like this okay and here you can see that majority of the stresses due to bending moment is being carried by this flange part of the i section okay so this is the very basic part and i discuss this simple concept almost in every video before going into the core concept okay so now come into the real picture so here this beam is the i section okay and due to this external load you will have some bending moment and shear force and you have also understood that majority of the shear stress is going to be carried by the wave and the majority of the bending moment is going to be carried by the flange of the I section okay so due to this external load if you consider any section let's say this one okay here you will have some shear force and try to visualize this shear force in this real beam okay so this is the shear force and this is the balancing force so this is the shear force and you will have some complementary shear force acting like this so this is nothing but a resultant tensile force and this is nothing but a resultant compressive force same thing happening for this zone also so this is the shear force and this is the balancing force and here this is the complementary force this is the resultant tensile force this is the resultant compressive force okay and the same thing you can draw for the right portion also and if you mark the compressed zone here you can see that this is the compressed zone okay this part of the wave is being compressed agree and here this part of the wave is being compressed okay and here in the right portion you will get that this portion of the wave is being compressed and this portion is being compressed okay and also if you consider this zone okay so here this is the shear force acting like this and this okay and this is the complementary shear force so here you can see this is the resultant tensile force so this zone of the wave is actually being tensed just like this one here also you will get a zone where the wave is being tensed right okay so due to the external load you have got some idea how each and every part of this I section is being traced 
at the very first due to this bending moment the flanges are being stressed and the bottom flange is being tensioned and the top flange is being compressed why okay if you simply draw the reflected diagram of this beam under the external load here here you can see all this fiber has been compressed okay and all the bottom fiber has been tensioned okay so that is the reason the top flange of this i section has been compressed and the bottom flange of this i section has been tensioned okay so let's visualize more clearly at the very first the stress due to bending moment yes they are going to be generated in the flanges only like this here you can see the top flange is being compressed and the bottom one is being tensioned okay now it is time for shear force so due to the shear force mainly the web part is going to be stressed and the compressive stressed are going to be like this okay in the gain zone and the tensile stress are going to be like this okay so initially you had some beam and now you have visualized due to the external load how the load is going to be dispersed throughout the beam okay now let's say we are not providing any beam instead we will only provide the material in the stressed region okay how well let's say only we are providing material to carry this tension and this compression okay and also we are only going to provide material to carry this compression this tension this compression this compression this tension and this compression so how the shape will look like well it will look like something this so this top member is going to be compressive member due to external load like this this bottom one is going to be tensile member okay this one is compressive this one is tensile this one is compressive this one is compressive this one is tensile and this one is compressive provided this type of support condition and this type of external loading okay so you have successfully converted your beam into a truss so what's the problem well let me know in the comment box and if you like this video don't forget to share it